is let's try you know, an inch and a half bore of lightweight be gypsum. We have nine inch on center. And so here you can see the values have changed. I'm going to back up one chart. Our 1.5 was up in this range. Now if we look here, the 1.5 has changed. So why is that we're getting more thermal mass off of that concrete slab? And in that is generating, so it's generating more heat. And therefore that our supply temperatures can be way down. Uh, one good example of that is, is a buddy of mine that you know we did a lot of deer hunting with, and he's putting up a new building that he could pull his semis in and pull them through and do the work on on, on a semis in the winter. And part of that was is is he always used the kind of your your uh, ceiling mounted heat where you the concrete it was always cold on the concrete and you ever work underneath the truck it's freezing. So we talked him into doing radiant heat. Well, it got to a point when. Uh, Deer hunting came along, and of course we were so busy working, we forgot to get the heaters and campers. And my well, got it. Well, we just pull all the campers in the darn barn here. Cool. Well, we go in there and we pull, we pull the, yeah, you know, we pulled the picnic tables and the grills in there. You know, so we had everything inside a building. We we're really trying to rough it for deer hunting. Well, one guy looks over there and he sees on the wall that it's set for 60 degrees. Huh. Well, we didn't have a heater in here, so he went and he turned it up 70 degrees. By 3 a.m. This whole building now is 70 degrees, and no matter, we opened the doors and everything. That concrete slab was eight inches thick. So that radiated for almost a whole day. So typically is when you have like a radiant heat and you're having like your thermal mass of having more energy coming from concrete, you can have a lower set point, and regardless of outdoor temperatures, it will not change as, as long as you have that constant steady uh, supply temperature. Now here, you look at, in gypsum, it's a very porous product. And two, you get into, into porosity of the product, now you're getting into is where it will also release heat, but it'll also take at that point, it will cool a lot quicker than slab four inch concrete. Or in my buddy's place with the thicker concrete. But you notice on where our supply temperature is, now we get back here, and we were at 117 before on the concrete, and now we're about 125 is what our supply temperature would be. So it's showing at that rate importance of knowing in order to be with the ideal floor covering, and you can typically go, for example, like three quarter inch plywood is about 0.75 on our value. If you do a three quarter inch white oak, 0.75. So it's be pretty much that's all you need. So if you're looking at it doing of your engineered flooring, you'll find in charts from RPA it'll go even lower than that. Where we get into is having issues of carpeting where of going up well exceeding that and then trapping that heat and then that's the areas that will fail. Now let's get into our joist. Now this is where we have no plates stapled up to the ceiling. Where is your 1.5? That's coming way down here. So we're going to find out here in a second. Your supply temperature is at 170 degrees. We're going to guarantee to fail in that zone because you're looking at your floor temperature. If you go back on that chart where we had earlier of where the BTUs were by temperature, you're going to find at that 170 degrees, we're guaranteed to fail. So this is where, because it's not only heating the subfloor, but it's also heating the flooring, but also it has no tracks, no plates. So what happens to the heat? The heat's being dispersed inside inside the joist cavity and so a lot of times is now we're dealing with that heat even though if we insulate below the pipes it's still taking trying to heat the air in there so it's taking a lot more energy to heat the air and also to heat the subfloor and the flooring to get us within our set point of 65 degrees on the wall